Hello everyone. This video is going to be about the coronavirus and um, I'm going to show you a few things that I have noticed. Um, and then I'm going to give you my opinion. So this is the statistics right here. It was updated less than an hour ago. And currently the United States has the most confirmed cases. And we have the least deaths out of these four. There's a lot more countries in this map. All you got to do is type in coronavirus USA and the map will come up and you can look at all the cases worldwide. But out of these four, we have the least deaths, but we have the most confirmed cases. And right here it says, U.S. cases top. Trump signs $2 trillion relief bill. And it says, U.S. coronavirus cases um, as reported deaths hit new daily high. U.S. becomes the first country to reach 100,000 confirmed coronavirus cases. So... This video right here, it talks about how U.S. has the most coronavirus cases than anywhere in the world. And they ask the question, how did this happen? Well, that's what I'm going to give you my opinion on. First, I'm going to show you some information. And then I'm going to give you my opinion at the end. So how did this happen? First off. President Trump had a rally in South Carolina, right here, and it was shortly after a new case of the disease was reported in California, okay? And this is what Trump had to say about that. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. The Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. Okay, that's what he had to say. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. You see how he pronounces the coronavirus the way he says it? He makes it all dramatic or sarcastic, right? I'm sure you can see that. The way he's doing it. He's trying to make it he's trying to make it a joke. They're politicizing it. We did one of the great jobs, you say, how's President Trump doing? They go, Oh, not good, not good. <laughs> they have no clue. They don't have any clue. They can't even count their votes in Iowa. They can't even count <laughs> No, they can't. They can't count their votes. One of my people came up to me and said, Mr. President, they tried to beat you on Russia, Russia, Russia. That didn't work out too well. They couldn't do it. They tried the impeachment hoax. That was on a perfect conversation. They tried anything. They tried it over and over. They've been doing it since you got in. It's all turning. They lost. It's all turning. Think of it. Think of it. And this is their new hoax. Okay, so President we Trump said the this is their new hoax. He said they are politicizing the coronavirus. And at the end, he said this is their new hoax. This is their new hoax, right? This room, all the feet that you see, they all have COVID. The frustrating thing about all of this is it really just feels like it's too little too late. Like we knew, we knew it was coming. Today is kind of getting worse and worse. We had to get a refrigerated truck 
to store the bodies of patients who are dying. We are right now scrambling to try to get a few additional ventilators or even CPAP machines. If we could get CPAP machines, we could free up ventilators for patients who need them. Okay, so right there she said that she needs ventilators for the patients that need them. If they had CPAP machines, they would be able to free up ventilators because she has to keep begging for ventilators. This morning, I read this article, Trump on urgent requests for ventilators. I don't believe you need 30,000. That's his remarks to Sean Hannity on Fox News. The New York governor asked for ventilator help and Trump said, I don't believe you need 30,000. What did she just say? She had to beg for ventilators. And it says right here, she received some from another hospital a few hours later. And what is that hospital going to do if they need ventilators? Five, five ventilators. Oh my God. You know, we now have these five vents. We probably, you know, unless people die, I, I suspect we'll be back to needing to beg for ventilators again in another day or two. There's a mythical hundred vents out there, which we haven't seen. Leaders in various offices, from the president to the head of health and hospitals, saying things like, we're going to be fine, everything's fine. And from our perspective, everything is not fine. I don't have the support that I need and even just the materials that I need physically to take care of my patients. And it's, it's America. And we're supposed to be a first world country. On a regular day, my emergency department's volume is pretty high. It's about 200 people a day. Now we're seeing 400 or more people a day. Mm -hmm. At first, we were trying to isolate patients with cough and fever um, and be more careful around them, but we weren't necessarily being extra careful around all the other patients. And then we started to realize that patients who were coming in with no fever but abdominal pain actually had findings on their x-rays and chest CTs that were consistent with this coronavirus COVID-19. So Okay, so she is seeing 400 patients a day now, 400 patients a day, and they all have coronavirus. And they need ventilators, and she has to beg for ventilators and get some from other hospitals, and Trump says she doesn't need that many ventilators. You know, so this is how... This is how our country is becoming the most confirmed cases because people don't believe that it's serious. Here's a doctor in Spain. Look what he has to say. Hola, buenos días. Me cuesta transmitir muchos estos mensajes, se me están cayendo las lágrimas. Me han llegado ya un, un par de audios en el que se está diciendo que personas mayores de 65 años les están quitando los respiradores en Madrid y las están sedando para que mueran, porque no hay respiradores para todos y se los quieren dar a los más jóvenes. So he has the same issue. His patients need respirators, ventilators, 
and they don't have enough so what are they doing he's being forced to take the older people off the respirators and sedate them until they pass away and he got into this job to help people to help all of his patients not to sedate them until they pass away but they don't have enough respirators for everybody and so they want to sedate the elderly and give the respirators to the younger people because they have more life in them and it shouldn't have to be that way and the same thing is going on with this doctor she got into this business because she wanted to help people and she's having a hard time a very very hard time at the end of the video she talks about how hard it is we have what we need and if this goes on for a month or two or three or five like it did in china and we're already this strained we don't have what we need i don't really care if i get in trouble for speaking to the media i want people to know that this is bad people are dying we don't have the tools that we need in the emergency department and in the hospital to take care of them and and it's really hard these doctors got into this business to save lives and they don't have what they need because they're being overwhelmed by patients all at one time and there are people like this who think that it's all about trying to get Trump out of office or there are people out there that think that China made this as a biological weapon Why does QAnon think that it's just trying to get Trump out of office? This is what he has on his video here. Impose insecure mail vote. Erase Trump economic gains. Delay China trade deals. Hide Biden's dementia. Stop rallies. These people actually think that this is a way people dying from the coronavirus is a way to get trump out of office i don't know why they think that but they do maybe because trump says so maybe because at, at his rally he said that this is their new hoax I found this article in USA Today where they were fact checking to see if this, if it'll come up right now. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, it's a fact check. It says, did the coronavirus originate in a Chinese laboratory? The claim. The coronavirus may have originated in a Chinese laboratory. I will leave the link to this article. It's very long. I don't want to make this video super long and read the entire thing. So I'll leave the link so that you can read it. But they did some research. If I can get it to move. Some of these um, websites have so many ads that it's very hard to get the articles to move. And plus, it's a long article anyway. It says here that Senator Tom Cotton has suggested to Congress and Fox News that there may be a connection 
between um, the Chinese lab and the origin of the virus. See all the ads that are coming up? That's why it's not moving very fast. I can't get it to move. Anyway, um, they did a lot of research and they say the claim is false. They say it originated in nature and it was a, it was a long study that they did and they found out that it originated in nature and not in a laboratory. And like I said, I will leave the link for you so that you can read it yourself. Okay, what I want to say now, my opinion, yeah, I'm trying to get, trying to get this to move. Okay, here we go. In Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verse thirteen and fourteen, it says. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. This is what God says. And truthfully, he did shut up heaven that there be no rain on California for a long time. We didn't get rain for a long time. And there was people saying the reason why we weren't getting rain in California is because they were spraying the clouds. But it says right here in the Bible, if people would read the Bible, they would understand what's going on. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land. The locusts are actually devouring the Middle East right now. They have swarms of locusts. Or if I send pestilence among my people. Disease. Pestilence. God also sends famine. Famine and pestilence. It's in the book of Matthew. All people have to do is read the Bible. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't believe the Bible, but what's in the Bible comes true. Okay, this is the last thing I want to show you right here. Now, it says right here, Revelation chapter 9, verse 15. This is a commentary on Revelation 9, 15. To kill a third of mankind. A third of the population of the earth would be killed by these four angels. And the army which they lead, death will come by three means. Fire, smoke, and brimstone. The trumpet judgments share a pattern of affecting one-third of what they target. In the first trumpet judgment, a third of the trees were burned up. Remember the fire that was in California? And then there was fire in Australia. And they kept burning and burning, the fires did. And the fire that PG&E got in trouble for, well, 
It says here, in the first trumpet judgment, a third of the trees were burned up. In the second trumpet judgment, a third of the sea became blood. A third of the creatures in the sea perished, and a third of the ships were destroyed. In the third trumpet judgment, a third of the rivers and springs are poisoned. In the fourth trump trumpet judgment, a third of the sun, moon, and stars were struck so as to be darkened. In the fifth and sixth trumpet judgment, all men without the seal of God are tormented, and then a third of them are killed. When the second seal is open, peace is taken from the earth, and people kill one another. When the third seal is open, there is great famine, and presumably additional deaths occur. When the fourth seal is open, death and Hades kill a fourth of the earth. If the fourth of the earth describes a region, then we can't be sure what proportion of the total population die. It would depend upon the region and the distribution of the population. If we assume that roughly one-fourth of the population remaining alive at the time of the third horseman's ride perish in the judgments of the third seal, then less than 75% of the original population prior to opening the first seal remains alive. Some died during the judgments of the second and third seals. Additional people die in the preceding trumpet judgments. Ships are destroyed. Men die from drinking poison waters. Here an additional third of the remaining population perish, or one-third of less than 75%, which remains. After the first six seals and six trumpet judgments, the population of the earth has been reduced by more than half. I will leave a link to this too so you can read it. Um, you know, people don't believe that the Bible is true, but it is. All you have to do is read it. I started reading it a couple of years ago. I bought myself a new Bible a year ago, and I read it. And I am amazed about what I have learned in the Bible. And, you know, you just have to have an open mind and you have to believe. You have to ask God to help you understand. Ask God for, for guidance. Ask him to help you um, understand what is going on. And... There has been a lot of things happening that was in the Bible that I have seen. Uh, you know, like how the weather is changing. Uh, there's there's scripture that says that there's going to be signs in the in the stars. There's going to be signs in the heavens. There's going to be signs in the weather. Um, there's going to be earthquakes, and we have earthquakes all the time now, and they're increasing in intensity. Um, you know, I could go on and on, but then I would be making a very long video. I've already made it 23 minutes, so I'm just going to stop right here. I will leave the links for you guys. This is how I see it. I see this as pestilence. I don't see it as a biological weapon. And I don't see it as they are trying to take Trump out of office. Trump, to me, has shown that he could care less about the people that are dying. And he thinks it's just the Democrats. That is why people think that is because what he is saying. Uh, there, there would be people breaking their necks for Trump. That is, that is how taken people are by President Trump. They're so taken by him, they would probably kill for him. They would probably break their neck for him if he asked them to. That is just the way I see it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I will leave the links for you so that you can read everything. And please, read the Bible. 
ask God for guidance because anymore I don't know how how much longer we have I really don't it says right here that um, it says right here that a fourth of the total population will die um, and people are dying they're dying like flies they're dropping like flies let me see what it says now it still says the same thing it hasn't been updated yet updated less than one hour ago so it hasn't been updated but it's probably a couple hundred more since last hour um, Italy has now nine over 9,000 deaths in Italy alone and Italy is the home of what the Vatican I don't think it's a biological weapon I don't think it was all made up I don't think it's from the Democrats I think that this is God telling people come to me because the Bible says that he will send locusts to devour the land and that's what's going on in the Middle East right now and or if I send pestilence among my people what did he say if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land all God asks for is believe trust and believe in him the way to God is through Yeshua Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit Thank you for clicking in. Take care of yourself. Wash your hands. Stay away from people. Have a wonderful night.